Okay, and now taking you to more particularly important reactions. These are reactions coming in as we speak from Ajay Makan, who remember is coordinating this entire affair for the Congress. Him and uh, remember Malik Arjun Khari, who is the AICC observer. Both of them are key in this entire effort. Makan has said, we aren't going to Delhi at the moment. Uh, we have been instructed by the Congress interim president, Sonia Gandhi, to conduct one-on-one -on -one talks with Rajasthan Congress MLAs. So, uh, let's go over to my colleague Pallavi once again to understand more here. Pallavi, I think the big question here is why did Malika Arjun Kharge and uh, Markan not have these conversations with the MLAs before the public showdown? What, what's the reasoning there? to have a, a first there was supposed to be a CLP meeting uh, see I think what they calculated was that all was well that Ashok Gehlot was very much there Sachin Pilot has also been in touch with the MLAs the way the CLP meeting is actually conducted is you don't have a one-on-one -on -one meeting before that it's usually when that situation goes out of control you begin to have one-on-one -on -one meetings because some of the MLAs are not so vocal uh, in a group some of the MLAs are more vocal when speaking in private. Also, when you talk in private, you often try to convey the message which goes in from the center. I remember that's exactly what happened in Punjab. Uh, a clear indication, if Ajay Makan and Kharge are going to stay put in Rajasthan, at least till 17th or 19th, or over the next few days, they're gathering some information to give that input to Sonia Gandhi. Uh, and based on that, the next step will be taken. Now, if most of the MLAs in private make the point that one, Ashok Gehlot should not be sent to Delhi at this point of time because it's a pole-bound state. And second, of course, we cannot have a change of guard. Will that change the decision which is going to be taken by the central leadership? But does that have an impact on, one, the candidature of Ashok Gehlot himself? I think we also need to dwell a bit on that. Will it cast a shadow on the possibility of Ashok Gehlot be filing his nomination papers? Will there be a rethink? Will the central leadership feel, and Ashok Gehlot himself make the point, that now is not the time for me to become the president of the party? Because what's going to happen is that you're going to lose out on one more state, which is on Rajasthan. That's one important factor. Second, the one man, one post. Substantial amount of pressure is going in on the central leadership. And maybe the MLAs give that argument uh, that it's not a hard and fast rule. Yes, I know the resolution was passed, but let's not make it a hard and fast rule. Let Ashok Gehlot continue both as a chief minister, at least till the elections are on, and of course, till the president, uh, and also as the president of the party.